Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I hope everybody is doing okay today. If you're new around here, my name is Kaylee. I am a mum of two. I have a five-year-old son called Joey and a three-year-old daughter called Sienna. So today's video, I'm just going to share with you the top toys that my five-year-old likes to play with. I've done a video before, which is what I bought him for Christmas and things like that, but I thought it'd be better to do one once he's had a chance to play with his toys and they've been tried and tested so I can share with you what he actually enjoys playing with and what's got the most use and what's been really good value for money because there is nothing worse than spending lots of money on a toy and then your child just has no interest in it and they do not play with it and it just is such a waste. So I thought I'd show you what my five-year-old likes to play with, what he likes to do. There's a few different things in here all with different price brackets. So I'll get started. Okay, so first up is this Hot Wheels garage and this is definitely my son's favorite toy. It's one that he plays with almost every day. We've had this for almost two years now and I think it was around 60, 70 pounds when we bought it, but it's definitely been worth the money because he gets so much use out of it. He will literally sit here playing for ages, parking all of his cars, or he'll like line them all up to get some petrol and it's also got a ramp here and that goes down into a shark's mouth and as the car goes in the shark will clamp shut on the car and it's got a little lift here so he enjoys putting the cars in the lift and they can go up and down. So the next favourite is a real staple piece and I think it's been popular for years and years and years but that is Lego. So we have a big box here full of Lego. What I would say is that my son doesn't particularly like the sets of Lego. So we bought him the Lego hospital for Christmas last year and we set it all up, took us ages to set it all up like a hospital. And literally hours later, he was taking it back apart and building his own thing. He would much rather create his own thing with the Lego than play with the different sets. So we've got this big storage storage tub that we keep Lego in and we actually got this from Ikea quite recently and it's really handy because it's got wheels on the bottom of it so my son can move it around really easily himself and we also got these little tubs from Ikea and we use these to keep all of the mini figures in and like little accessories and things that the Lego comes with and I think Lego is one of those things that when we get home from school and he's really tired and he cut he doesn't really want to just sit because he gets bored, but he hasn't got enough energy to really move and do anything. So he'll quite happily just sit on the sofa with a small pile of Lego and just be watching the telly as well as sort of building something at the same time. Okay, so the next thing that we get lots and lots of use out of is board games and puzzles. My son is at the age now where, I mean, he's five years old and he really enjoys playing board games. I think. This is probably the first year where he's actually really enjoyed sitting down with me or his dad and actually finishing off a board game. Before he would just get distracted really easily, he would get bored really easily and we would never finish it. So I'll just show you his top two board games at the moment. So we play these all of the time, he doesn't get bored of them and we've had them for a little while now as well. And he's really competitive, he's a bit like me, he hates to lose so he really gets into it. So the um, first one is this Humpty Dumpty wall game. This is a little bit like Jenga, so you build up the wall and then put Humpty Dumpty on top and you have to push the bricks out without Humpty Dumpty falling. He loves this one and this one is quite good because each individual game doesn't last too long so you can either just have one go of it or you can keep playing it if they're still enjoying themselves. But yeah, like I said, he's really competitive, so he gets really excited when like you push a brick through and the wall begins to wobble and he's screeching in excitement. So yeah, that's a big hit in this house. His other favourite board game is this one, I found it. There's a big board and you have to go up the squares to reach the castle and you have to be the first one to reach the castle. But it's a little bit different because depending what square you land on, there's one square where you have to pick a card and it's a bit like where's Wally, you then have to search on the board for items that are on the card. So it could be like wheels or chimneys or boats, flowers, 
and you have to all search and find as many of that object as you can within the time frame that you're given. So yeah, again, this is one that he loves to play and it's kind of Dis it's Disney related. So all the characters and like the board is really familiar. It's things that you'd see from the Disney films. So yeah, that's one that he really enjoys playing. And puzzles, these two are his favourite puzzles at the moment. So we've got the Spider-Man and Trolls. So these are both free plus. What I would say is that don't get a puzzle that is too tricky for your child. We recently bought one that was six plus and he found it too difficult and he got really frustrated and really angry and kind of threw the bits and, and stormed off. But these two, he loves doing. Again, he's really competitive, so he gets real enjoyment out of being able to complete the puzzle and complete it quite quickly. I do need to encourage him to do harder ones, but he just really loves sitting and completing these. And these and puzzles you can pick up relatively cheap. I think we got these for about £3 each in Sainsbury's um, when they were having their toy sale. So another thing my son really likes to play with is big vehicles. So we've got various different trucks. These are just a few of the ones we've got. We've got loads. But um, again, these vary in price quite a lot. Um, I think this one was about £7.50. This one we actually picked up from the charity shop. I think it was £2 or something like that. So that's something I would definitely say, top tip is do search for your charity shops, car boot sales, Facebook selling sites, things like that, because at that age, they don't really care where it comes from. They don't mind that it's not brand new from a shop. They get just as much pleasure and enjoyment out of something that is secondhand. And just give it a quick wipe down, quick clean, and it's as good as new. So definitely do keep an eye out for toys at car boot sales and things like that. It's definitely something we do quite a lot and these are really good especially for playing in the garden he loves to push these around the house or the garden he'll do races with them or he'll push them both and see which one he can get furthest and yeah he likes putting like this one is it's got storage so he likes putting all his cars inside and this one he'll line all of his little cars up on top of it and this one oh broken it <laughs> no this one is um imagine x and i think it's part of the jurassic world range but yeah as you can see there's some in there at the moment but this opens up if i can open it this opens up and let he's put all his cars inside and then he'll carry them around inside there and then like go somewhere and then let them all out in a pile and then go back and get some more and do the same again so yeah, he really enjoys playing with like big vehicles. So this is like the last toy that he likes to play with. And then I'll just talk to you afterwards about a couple of other things that he likes to do and is interested in. So this is the Incredibles boat. Very similar to the last point about the big vehicles. Again, it's like just a big boat. But I think he particularly likes this just because it is the Incredibles. And we've got, he's got the little minifigures that go with it as well. So yeah this is another one that he likes to push around the room he'll put all his incredible figures in it and then they'll get off somewhere and go go and do an adventure and then they'll get back on the boat and they'll be going to the next place so yeah really really it really helps his imagination and like create a story so yeah he really enjoys playing with this and i think this was about 30 35 pounds and we got it from argos but yeah he really enjoys that one at the moment Okay, so I'll just talk to you about a few other things that my five-year-old likes to do at the moment. The first one is going on his trampoline. So we've got, I think it's about an eight-foot trampoline in the garden. Um, he's out there all the time on the trampoline. He's been out in the rain, in the hail, in the sun, whatever the weather, he loves going on his trampoline. He's just learning to do like little tricks on it, like a seat drop and a tuck jump, that kind of thing. So yeah, he really enjoys playing on that. Another thing is that he loves riding his bike. He learnt to ride without stabilisers when he was four and he had a balance bike before that. So he did pick up riding a bike quite quickly and I think having a balance bike probably helped with that. But yeah, he just loves going out on his bike, even if it's just down to the end of our street and back home again. Any opportunity he's got to go out on his bike, he will. So I think five years old is also the age where they really enjoy starting to help around the house 
and do kind of more adult activities but in a younger way if that makes any sense so just things like he likes helping me clean up around the house so you could buy them a little mini broom a little mini dustpan and brush little hoovers things like that he really really enjoys helping me he also enjoys helping us out in the garden so you can get like little mini tools for kids like spades and forks and he's absolutely at his happiest if he's sat in the garden digging a hole and hunting for bugs i asked him the other day actually what do you want to be when you're older and he said i just want to hunt for bugs so hopefully there's a job out there that involves hunting for bugs <laughs> but yeah he will literally sit for hours digging in a hole and looking at all the bugs inside the hole and you can get like um little pots with like magnifying glasses on and you can put the little bugs in there so you can see them more clearly or just get any kind of clear container and he'll put like snails in or caterpillars with some leaves and grass and he'll just sit and watch them and have a little look at them and then he'll let them go again in the garden and on the same lines of kind of helping me out and doing more grown-up things he really enjoys playing with his tools so we've got in this I'll show you the box little toolbox with various different tools in if his dad is out in the garage he'll go along with him and just get a bit of wood and he'll start hammering it and sawing it and, and just kind of role play and like mimicking what his dad's doing or he'll get one of his big trucks or cars and he'll like pretend to try and fix them so yeah he really enjoys playing with those as well and this is something else I think we picked up second hand from a car boot sale so it's definitely worth a look so that is just about everything that I wanted to share with you so they're kind of the top things that my five-year-old likes to do or play with at the moment so everything I've shown you is probably steered a little bit more towards boys but my daughter does also definitely love playing with everything I've shown you but I think most things are great for boys or girls I really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I hope it's given you a few ideas of what you could buy for your children. Personally, I love watching these kind of videos, especially near like Christmas time or birthdays, because it gives me lots of ideas of things to buy. There is nothing worse than wasting your money on something that they just will not play with. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos, and I will see you all again soon. Bye bye.